Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at integer subtraction models. So we'll start with the chip or concrete manipulative model. One thing that's nice about this is it connects really well to the chip model for integer addition. So if you've had students having success with that, this is going to connect well with their prior knowledge. It again emphasizes the fact that opposite integers add to zero through the pairing of one positive with one negative chip. And it reinforces the idea from whole number addition that adding zero does not change a sum. So once again, if we're using our chips, we have one positive chip being the yellow with a plus sign on it and a negative chip being the red with a negative on it. If we want to model negative five minus negative two, we're gonna start by placing five negative or red chips out and then subtracting away or removing two negative chips. That leaves us with three negative chips so negative 5 minus negative 2 is negative 3. If we want to model 4 minus negative 2, we notice that if we were to just place 4 positive chips, we would have no way of taking away any negative chips. So what we need to do is add copies of 0 or pairs right, a positive and a negative, until we have two negative chips to take away. Then we can take those two negative chips away and see what we have left. We have six yellow or positive chips left, so four minus negative two is six. Our next integer subtraction model is the number line model. This model reinforces the idea of opposites by having students move in different or opposite directions on the number line. It bridges nicely to whole number subtraction taught using the number line method, and it connects well to an idea we're gonna explore in just a moment of adding opposites. So in order to model integer subtraction on the number line, we're gonna start at zero. Positive numbers are going to represent forward steps. Negative numbers represent taking backward steps. And subtraction is modeled by turning and facing the opposite way. So our little character is going to flip-flop and then take the appropriate direction of step. So if we want to model one minus negative four, we'll bring whatever little creature we're using to zero. The default is for our creature to face to the right to face towards the positive values. We need to start with one. That means facing to the right, we will take one forward step. Now, because we're going to perform subtraction, he needs to turn around, and then we need to take negative four steps. So that means he's going to take backward steps, four of them. One, two, three, four. Now we note where we ended up in this case at positive five. So one minus negative four is five. All right, let's try that again with a new example. Negative two minus negative three. We'll put our creature at zero facing towards the right, as is our default. First, we need to take negative two steps. So that means we're going to take two backward steps. So one, two. From there, we're going to do subtraction. So that means we need to flip around and face the opposite direction. And we need to take negative three steps. So that means taking three backward steps. One, two, three. Once we finished all of our steps, we know where we are, in this case at positive one. So negative two minus negative three is one. So let's talk about that idea of adding opposites. It is true that you can perform integer subtraction by taking and adding the opposite. So instead of a minus b, we can add the opposite of b, which is negative b. If we had a minus negative c, we could add the opposite. The opposite of negative c is positive c, so we could take a plus c. 
These seem like odd concepts when they're first introduced. So it is important when you show your students this that you kind of prove it to them, model it through several examples. Let's take this first example and let's model it on a number line. So let's take one minus negative two. We've shown already that that's three, but let's watch it again. Starting at zero, we're gonna take one forward step, turn around and take two backward steps. That lands us at positive three. Now let's model one plus two. Now from whole number addition, we are pretty confident that we know that's three, but let's see that our little guy will end up in the same spot. So here he is. He's gonna take one forward step. Now he's going to add, so he's gonna stay facing the same direction, two. So that means he's gonna take two forward steps. Once again, he ends up at positive three. So adding the opposite instead of subtracting negative two, adding positive two ends in the same spot. Both are equal. Let's take the other one now, a minus negative c being equal to a plus c. We're gonna model this one with the chip model. So let's take the example four minus negative two. We've shown already with the chip model that that's equal to six, but let's see it again. We start with four and we want to take away negative two. But since we don't have any negative chips to take away, we add two copies of zero by taking and adding a positive and a negative. We then remove our negative two chips and we are left with six positive chips. To model four plus two using chips, we would take four positive chips and add two more positive chips, ending again with six positive chips. So here, adding the opposite, in this case adding two, was the same as subtracting negative two. All right guys, well that does it for this video on integer subtraction models. To see more with integers, keep on watching.